All right, YouTubers, as always, I want to start off with a tour of the area. Just to get your bearing straight, this is 3009, that bridge right in front of us, and of course this is I-35. But this is the area I'm really super excited about, the Santigos. It's going to be the anchor uh, entertainment area for the new shopping entertainment district of Cibolo Crossing. It has a beautiful movie theater, arcades, laser tag, bowling, well, hell, you could read. But let's get on my old Versus 650 and give a tour. All right, this is, uh, as of July 20th, 2020, this area is uh, getting ready to open. More and more people are moving in here. Uh, well, shopping wise, this entertainment district is gonna be really super cool. I live just down the road here and I gotta tell you, I'm really excited to see what all is gonna be coming in here. And uh, just the development is one, it's gonna increase my property value and uh, I like that. But as of today, there's only one. Well, of course, you got the Santigos open, and I love it. Very high end. But you also have the Dunkin' Donuts that just recently opened. They haven't opened the inside yet. It's just drive through only. But I did talk to the owner about a month ago, and they said that they plan to make this Dunkin' Donuts the nicest in town. Well, they didn't even call it Dunkin' Donuts anymore. They just called it Dunkin'. But yes, we are in Cibolo Crossing here. This is Cibolo Valley slash Wiederstein Road. Depends on what entrance you are is what uh, what they call it. Nice little bike there. Alright, we've got just over a mile on the service road and then we'll be in Riata subdivision. But speaking of nice things in the area, we have the Evo, which is very similar to the Santigo. It has those luxury high-end uh, reclining movie chairs. You can order your food, and oh my gosh, their food's delicious. A really super big fancy bar area, and restaurant. Uh, of course you have high-end bowling. My daughter had, went to a birthday party there. They have private rooms for that and a lot of catering and it's just really good i i have they got a really nice outdoor seating area there and i have noticed that when it's not covid 19 a lot of high school kids just hanging out there so that's kind of nice to have so close by we have a uh, flea market here that's open on the weekends kind of surprised they're still so busy in the midst of uh, covid 19 but between the Santigos and Evo, I am shocked that they're both there because one shirts, one Cibolo. We're all kind of intertwined. Got a nice little restaurant slash uh, music venue right there. And uh, let me talk about the music down here in Texas. A lot of them are the Texas music uh, scene video uh, artist. And if you're watching this video around the world and you have no idea what Texas music is, look it up. Look at uh, people like Wade Bowen, Cody Jinx, um, Pat Green. I mean, there's so many more. Uh, we have our own music down here, and we're quite proud of it. And if you're a big fan of... Okay, here come warning. I'm about to offend some people. The pop country bubblegum boy band country music crap that they're playing in Nashville yes they do play it on the radios here on some stations but uh, good god it's so horrible but uh, we do have a couple stations that plays Texas country music or you can stream it online I'm a big fan of 95.5 the ranch out of Fort Worth if you want to listen to country music go to that station and stream it but uh, down here we do have live music and uh, those artists, Jack, uh, Jason Boland's one of my favorites. He's playing down here all the time. He's played I think four times at the Old Main Ice House in Cibolo, which I've done a video of that place as well. So if you like live music, 
Make sure you make your way down here to Central Texas between this part of San Antonio and uh, New Braunfels. We have so much good music going on. All right, enough of that. We're coming up now on the Riata subdivision. This is all zoned commercial right here, so expect it to change over the next four or five years. Uh, but for now, you've got nice separation from uh, the highway. I, I really like this subdivision. Three up, I'm oh, sorry. 1103 is the next street up and due to our population growth they are going to be expanding 1103 so that makes this subdivision even more attractive because you're not having to deal with the construction that uh, 1103 is going to be on this is going to stay nice and quiet this community was a chessmar and Guillen community that used to be the chessmar model home but this community has sold out as of about six months ago. So if you want to get in this community, you're going to have to buy a pre-existing home. And my listing was built in 2018. So uh, it's not new, but it's pretty damn close. But look at these beautiful homes here. I absolutely love the build quality of both Chessmar and Guillen. We're big on our brick and rock combinations and it really looks good. It's kind of a Texas thing. Well, I don't know, it could be other things, but really, look, I really like the combination they do here. There's a little older part of this subdivision back over there. Those were built in the early 2000s. And then the rest of this all stuff kind of came around it and this is all pretty much brand new uh, let me go down this way all right I mentioned earlier reason I'm doing this tour is because I've got a listing in this community and we're coming up to it now and I always like to try to be a little bit different other realtors just want to put a sign in the yard post it on the MLS and call it good I want to get you a good feel of what the community you might be buying into looks like and feels like. There's the house I'm referring to and my big beautiful sign right in front of it. Yes, I am with Coal Banker and uh, we just had a brand change. I really like our new logo. But this is my listing. It was built in 2018. It is 2,730 square feet, four bedrooms, two and a half baths. Uh, 704 Bridal Road in Church, Texas. Um, the asking price right now is 294000 So getting into this community for less than 300000 is not easy. Look at the uh, look up Riata subdivision and you can see the prices of the homes in this community. And I think this is a bargain. Hopefully uh, someone scoops it up pretty soon. But I have done a video tour of this house. So make sure you look on my YouTube page for the video tour for more information about it. Alright, back to the subdivision tour. One of the perks about this subdivision is it's got its own elementary school right inside of it. So if you got the kiddos you won't have to be really driving all over the place to pick them up. <laughs> Bye. We're, now we're going to head up to the... where the amenities park. Look at that little puppy. Hey. <laughs> Alright, here's the amenities section. When I did the tour of my listing, I did a little video shot of this area here. I'll do a little stand-up drive-by for you. Got a little pool, playground area. Great place to beat the Texas heat. Speaking of which, we're finally back to normal mid-July temperatures. Uh, last week was pretty hot. 
Uh, but now we're back to our high of around 96 degrees. That's still pretty hot, but it's Texas and it's summertime, so 96 ain't that bad. We've got, I tell people all the time, we've got three months of, okay, it's really freaking hot. But right now, and then we have the other nine months of, hey, it's not bad here at all. Right now, I'm counting down the days to where we get to September 15th through 21st. That's our magic week of the first day we don't have a high temperature over 90. Is in that uh, first to mid-September. And that's usually when we get our first little cool front come in. And it's like then we just, that begins the nine months of really beautiful weather. There's the school. It is John A. Sipple Elementary. I love the fact they've got the covered basketball court area. Your child pickup lines kind of go right through there and they do it. A lot of people get into this community uh, just for being Shirt Cibolo ISD, which is some of the top, one of the top school districts in the area. So if you're buying into this community, you don't have to worry about your property values going down due to a poor school district. All right, I'm going to take you to the back part of the subdivision. If you happen to be stationed at Randolph or wanting to go to downtown Cibolo area, you don't have to get onto I-35. You can just come up this back road here. This is considered Old Wiederstein Road. All right, there's the Sipple Stallions. Leadership starts here. They could do got another little playground area for elementary kids. I like that little slogan of leadership starts here. Well, in my opinion, this is coming from my own father. Hopefully I don't offend too many of y'all. But uh, my opinion is you've got to teach leadership at a young age, respect at a young age, and uh, teaching your kids to think for themselves. I, I think that's one of the big root problems in our society today is people are not developing skill, the concept of thinking for yourself rather than listening to their idiot friends. And if we can just get people to think logically for themselves versus going on mob emotion mentality, oh, things would be so much better. And yes, Texas is a common, more of a common sense state and less emotion. Some of our big cities though, they do go a little on the emotion side, but man, you get out into the suburbs, like the Shirt Cibolo area is, and we're really more of a common sense little entrepreneurship going on there their little own barbershop always support entrepreneurship support local folks all right we are coming up to the end of this tour i wanted to make a full loop of the area we're going to get back to where we started at just so you can see how easy it is to access um the road up here Sibola valley slash weederstein road because let's, let's let me explain. Wiederstein Road is the exit, but that road quickly turns into Cibolo Valley and goes into the downtown Cibolo area where you would have the old main ice house, yet another Walmart back there. So uh, this location is really sweet if um, you're looking for convenience of everything, you got it all right here. New Braunfels is just, oh, I'd say about five minutes up the road north on I-35 from here so you have access to New Braunfels without having to live in it and with that comes access to the beautiful green Texas area New Braunfels has a beautiful downtown the rivers oh my gosh I love living here and yes in Texas we do wave at folks so uh, I like that we're friendly people down here all right, we are coming up on to Cibolo Valley Drive. I'm not going to go back to the exact place where we started, but uh, this can be a quick moment to say, please like and subscribe to these videos uh, and make sure you share them. Oops, is that all a hawk there? Yes, it is. Cool. Um, I, I love the response I'm getting for it. You guys have really helped pick up my business because so many people are moving to Texas. And I'm glad content that I'm providing is being uh, helpful to folks. There's another realtor. Oh, 
that's another thing I'm doing. I've realized that everyone in this town knows four or five realtors, so I'm gearing my marketing to people outside of Texas, so I can be your um, relocation realtor to help get you familiar with the area, and uh, when you decide to make that smart move to Texas, you'll reach out to me and I'll be more than happy to help you out. I do provide a nice military rebate, so if you've got any affiliation with the military or even law enforcement, that'll count for my military rebate as well. But this is uh, Cibolo Valley. This is heading back down towards uh, the downtown area. Some nice subdivisions back here as well, but that's gonna be for a later day. For now, I wanna sign off and uh, my contact information is gonna be on this final slide. That's gonna do it for today. All right guys, take care now, bye-bye. GoPro, stop recording.